Hey everyone, this is Eric from Turnimix. Today I'm gonna to take you through a little bit of EQ automation. This is something that I uh, find I have to do a lot with my tracks, um, not only volume automation, but also EQ automation, which at the end of the day is just a specific form of volume automation, right? We're automating certain parts of the frequency spectrum up and down as we see fit. And uh, in this song, I found it very important to do it in the chorus. So we're uh, here today with Joe Gilder's Fighter. This is the main contest song over at Turnimix this month. And let me just play you the chorus, and then I'll get into uh, the details about some, some really cool EQ automation. Here's the song. If life is one big Okay, so as you can hear in the chorus, the lead vocal, for the most part, the tone stays fairly consistent. I mean, it changes a little bit, and that's always going to be the case with vocals, but for the most part, it, I think it works. Let me just show you here what I did with the EQ. I'm going to solo up the vocal for a second. Now, here you can see a big high pass filter. Uh, watch what happens. If life is one big disappointment then maybe I'm doing this thing right. Right, the, the high pass filter is uh, moving quite a bit. And that's just to accommodate for the fact that when Joe is singing those higher parts, his voice uh, has less low end in it. And when he sort of drifts down to the end of each phrase, you know, there's a lot more low end that happens. And uh, I found it absolutely necessary to automate the EQ. Okay, so I have the EQ automation, uh, well, all the automation lanes actually open here. You can see I have volume automation here in yellow. And then here is the high pass filter automation. So in, before I did this automation, like the vocal was originally like this, like, this was, you know, at about the same level and I didn't have this. Let's hear that in context without the automation. If life is one big All right, so clearly the end of the phrase is completely gone. Let's go back with the automation now. If life is one big Way better, right? Now, uh, I'll be honest, the main thing that's contributing to that uh, improvement is the volume automation. But what was happening was at the very end, at about here, this this far into the phrase, uh, it was just getting really, really boomy. Let me turn off just the EQ automation and hear that. If life is one big You hear how right at the end it just becomes a bit kind of just there's just too much low end basically happening. Let's hear it with the automation on again. If life is one big then maybe... Yeah, it just keeps his voice nice and tidy the whole way through. And it's it's not a huge change, but this this did really help. Let me just advance a little bit into the chorus here because at the end of the chorus, about here, it really helped. So here again, you can see the high pass filter being brought up to almost 460 from 185. Let me just bring this down to about the same level. Let me show you what this sounds like without it. Now that's a mess. You can hear it's just super, super muddy. If we go back to the way it was, it sounds like this. Way tighter a sound, right? And again, you know, this is just, just the kind of thing where you have to be ready to adapt your mix uh, as it moves forward in time. You know, it's not going to stay the same uh, at all points. And so, for example, this, you know, this high pass that starts right there. completely just turns to mush as soon as that's gone. So it's just something to keep in mind. Volume automation is super, super important, but so is EQ automation. And uh, you're going to have to, you know, every time you mix a song, go through and just notice, like, does the vocal always sound good? If not, maybe you need to adjust certain things uh, as the song progresses. Okay, that's all we have time for today. Thanks so much for watching. Eric from Turnamix signing off. We'll see you next time.